My name is James M. Beatty. I'm a longtime friend and sponsor, supporter of the Dixon Pentecostal Research Center. On the 50th anniversary of, the, of that institution, I offer my congratulations to the director, Dr. David G. Roebuck, and to those who preceded him, to the present staff of the center, to those who preceded them, and to the present leaders of the Church of God, the sponsoring denomination, and to those who preceded them. May the Dixon Pentecostal Research Center have a long and useful life and be a blessing to many. A research center is a special type of library with a special uh, focus and purpose. It has a theme and is focused on that theme. It functions to gather together material in that area and to organize the material in such a way that it will be, uh, can be accessed and used by those who are doing research in that area. The theme of this, this research center is stated in its title. It is focused on Pentecost, the outpouring of the Holy Spirit. I am referring to the outpouring of the Holy Spirit on the Jewish festival of Pentecost, the one that followed the Jewish Passover when Jesus was <coughs> crucified, buried, and was raised up from among the dead. The focus is and should be, this focus is and should be the heart of the Christian faith. The reality of Pentecost was rekindled about 120 years ago, and this spread into a Pentecostal movement. So our research center is focused on this aspect of the Christian faith as it relates to the Church of God and to the broader Pentecostal movement. In many parts of the world, especially in Africa and South America, there's a proverb that is quite well known that says, when an old person dies, a library has been burned. And there is much truth in that statement. And the reality of the human being points to the need to collect and to preserve the voices of the past. When one is, when one is severed from one's past, that person loses his or her identity. And that is the pitiful situation either for an individual or for an organization. There are organizations today whose members have no idea of what their organization was two generations back. There is a place for growth, and yes, we freely admit the past was not perfect, but we work to improve, but as we work to improve the present, in order to make the future better, this is the one thing that we need to remember and to maintain. Jesus not only saves, that is, he forgives the sins of the past, but also he breaks the power of sin in the present. And, praise God, Jesus still baptizes in the Holy Spirit. Amen, and God bless the Pentecostal Research Center.